Good afternoon. Well, we're absolutely thrilled to have the chance uh, today to be speaking with Gates McFadden and uh, Patty, and uh, please tell me if I got your name pronunciation correct, Yusutaki? Yes, Yusutaki. Oh, so I was nearly there. <laughs> nearly there. Um, best known to Next Generation fans, of course, as Dr. Beverly Crusher and uh, Nurse Alyssa Agawa. And um, I think you said uh, yesterday that this is the first convention you've attended together. Is, is that right? I think I ran into you once in, in Vegas. In Las Vegas, we were yeah. backstage signing mm. autographs, and I went, oh, that's hey! Gates! <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But it was all backstage and yeah. in the dark when yeah. they put us oh. to sign. So, but never, never, you know, a front and center together. So here you are as the, the dynamic duo of Sick Bay back together again. That's, that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> like that. Just, you know, curing people in every, every corridor of this uh, hotel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to see Patty. Yeah. It's really nice it's wonderful to have to catch up. It is. Excellent. Okay. You, okay. you have the first question? I do have the first question, and uh, it's directed at you, Patty, first, right. please. Um, you mentioned yesterday uh, in the talk uh, about the difficulties of being uh, a woman and with uh, Asian ethnicity in sort of the acting world. And we were looking, when we were researching you, into uh, the amount of work that you've done, which seems hugely extensive, actually. Um, and uh, we wondered, like, did those obstacles kind of hinder you in wanting to continue to act at any point, or did they just push you to, to make a career out of acting? Um, for me, the easiest way to deal with it was actually not to deal with it. Makes sense. Um, it was easier for me to just deal with what I could and what I could maybe go out and do, or so that became the game. Right. Because I had to keep something to keep it positive and, and creative, sure. and so, um, I never took the step back to look at the perspective of it that okay. maybe now I'm doing much later in life. But at the time, going on the journey, it was enjoying that journey. And so everybody, everybody in, in the acting world is going to hit a, their own obstacle. Sure, of course. So yeah. I didn't classify it, or and maybe it was a way bigger one than somebody else, but I, I wasn't there to judge any of that because okay. I didn't want to know. I just wanted to know, here's a problem, can I solve it? Here's an opportunity, can I fulfill it? Yeah. Um, Go seek it if there aren't enough, you know, or go meet people or, or whatever it is. Sure. And so uh, that was my playground, was to make it a, that kind of a game, if right. you will. Right, yeah. And I was always only looking back to say, oh, reach the net, I have another year under my belt, I'm still working. Oh, Excellent. I have another year under my belt. Oh, it's a little slight right now, well, maybe I'll go back and do this other project right. in the meantime. So that was kind of my game. And then later, you go back and go, wow. 30 years, and I somehow made, made, a, made enough of a career of it in yeah. this business. So it, it turned out like that. Ignorance was bliss. Perfect way to look at it. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, our second question is for you, Gates. Um, we've got an email that, that Grace is going to try and pass you a little later. It's from a friend of ours in the States who uh, didn't get a chance to meet you on another occasion. And uh, as I understand it, she currently works as a lead flight surgeon for the astronauts on the ISS. Nice. And um, she says, it, and you'll see it in the email, that she was inspired to her career path by particularly your character. And our question is this, um, how often do you hear of, of women in particular saying that they were inspired by the character of Dr. Beverly Crusher? And are there any instances that you can remember and tell us about? You know... I'm deeply moved by it, to be honest, because I know how important it is to have role models. And mm -hmm. I think, as someone, as a, when I was growing up and becoming a woman, I found it really hard. Mm. Um, I did find the world pretty sexist. And um, so when I have a woman who comes up to me and says, she just pops in, and I think she wants an autograph, and she says, no, no, I don't want an autograph. I just want to tell you I became a surgeon because of your character. And I know they're not talking to me thinking I'm Dr. Crusher. Mm. They're really saying, I needed that character, and I'm glad you portrayed her. They're not giving me all credit. They're just telling me something about them. And I'm honored, you know, because I know that it has to do with the writers, the producers, the customers, the set designers, mm. and yes, my part in that. But, um, it makes me feel good and it makes me feel that, yeah, well, maybe it was good that, that I spoke up for the character even though I got fired. I mean, maybe it was, <laughs> I'm glad somebody became a surgeon and made a living, you know. Uh, but no, it does happen a fair amount and, and that's an honor. You know, I've had uh, uh, 
especially for a female doctor who's a, a, an astronaut, that's really cool. Oh, I mean, I, that, I would love to meet her because what, what, what could you be she is the real, of course, hero. And that's, that's fabulous, you know. But I also want to just say, one of the things that as a group we are so moved by is people who will have gone through, there was one um, veteran who had uh, stepped on a, a landmine mm -hmm. and he had 101 surgeries. He was, a lot of his body was no longer there and he said I, they had it on every night and that's what helped him to get through it was to project onto us and to see something positive and to see how we were not just going to war. Yeah. And that is so moving to us that we, we start to understand what the show was really about. Yeah. It was about having future. Mm. And a future that we're all, you know, getting along in a positive future. Okay, I think we, we've only got time for one question, um, so we'll skip to the last one if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um, Gates, you, you mentioned that you and your son are arranging a music festival. Yes. And we just wondered if you could tell us a little bit about that, because we understand it's oh, here in Europe. Oh, exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, I have a place in Languedoc. We have a yeah. place. And um, my son's a violinist and a composer, and I... Um, I'm very happy to say that we've started to do a music um, festival and right now it's outside and it's a beautiful, beautiful um, venue uh, and there's a, a, a restaurant and you sort of, it's just like what you would hope for if you were going down and it's, it's uh, night time and you have beautiful music that you're listening to and mm -hmm. uh, you have food and wine. It's um, a friend of mine who has a vineyard. And so it's a perfect location. And one of the things that we're working towards is actually doing an original theater, uh, multimedia, or opera, where we already have a couple of our themes and ideas, but it's take, going to take years to right. raise the money and do all that. But okay. really exciting things on site-specific areas that are down in this region. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous region. It's at the end of July. And, um, you know, I'm going to be putting up on the website gatesplays.com, yes. uh, I would say very, very soon, in, in a couple of weeks, I'll be putting up places where you could book that are different places you could stay. It's an area so worth exploring, and it would give me so much pleasure to sort of share this area of the world. France, going to France, going to Europe changed my life, and um, it's, it's a region that I adore, and I've spent years... Um, in that region, getting to know people, and uh, it's a fantastic place. Well, thank you so much. So, thank everyone you. has to look at gatesplays.com. That's correct. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank, you, thank very you very much. much. Thank, you. Okay. thank you. Bye.